Hello and welcome to Art with Anna. Today we are talking about an artist named Emily Kame Inware. And she is actually from the center of Australia. Um, so she's from more of an Aboriginal community called Utopia, where there really wasn't too much influence from the more developed world. Um, she painted kind of all of her life. Um, one of the ways she painted for most of her life was a way called batik. And that's actually where you take fabric and you take melted wax and you make a design on the fabric before you dye it. And then that wax kind of keeps the dye off that area. Um, she did that for a long time, but mentioned that she hated the smell of the wax and um, moved to acrylic painting. Um, she really didn't paint for uh, commercial weight, so for the greater public, for money, until she was in her 70s and she died at 86. So it was a very short career of painting, but it was a lifetime of painting. Um, a lot of her paintings were sort of representing ancestral stories, stories that were passed down from generation to generation, as well as painting the landscape that was around her. Um, most of her artwork is made through like lines and dots, so we are going to take a look at some of these paintings right now, and we are going to recreate one of them. All right, this is Emily Kame Inware, and this is a paint picture of her actually doing a painting. Um, as you can see, there's very bold lines here, um, and that's a lot of her work, has some bold lines, typically on a darker background. Um, if we look over here, many times she also had like lines um, with dots on top of them, or many, many dots around in an area. So we're gonna recreate something like this um, by grabbing out a dark sheet of construction paper. All right, so let's grab out a dark sheet of construction paper. I've chosen black. Um, I think blue or purple would work also. And I'm also just choosing a few other colors. Um, I'm choosing blue in this case and yellow, but you can choose whatever colors you want. Um, I want to make kind of like sections of color on my sheet of paper, but I want them to be really organic. Um, there wasn't most of Emily's work was quite organic. So I'm going to take the sheet that's not black and start tearing off pieces. And I'm going to put those pieces just around on my black sheet of construction. Paper. Just making kind of organic shapes in sections all around. And I'm going to move those down once I'm happy with the placement. I'm going to do the exact same thing with our yellow sheet of paper. All right, so I am happy with where these are at. The next step is gonna be me gluing them down. Once they're glued down, we are gonna take pencils and the back of them, if they have a eraser, that'll work, or just the back of a colored pencil. We're gonna dip them in different colored paints. Um, red, blue, yellow, and white are typically what she used. And we're just gonna make dots all over this. So take some time to glue down this papers, get some red, yellow, white, and blue paint, a pencil, dip your bottom in, and make dots all over. No rhyme or reason on it. We want to just cover it with dots. All right, once our paper is covered in dots, I'm gonna have you cut out some strips of white paper. You can use scissors, a paper cutter, whatever you want to make some strips like this. And we're gonna just place these down um, in whatever pattern you feel. And some can be long, some can be short. Once you have a layout that you kind of like with your paper um, and you want to glue them down a little bit, um, sometimes the paint will keep them down, but if you have some spots where they're kind of lifting up, you want to stick some glue under there. We are going to then take our pencil with our paint and same thing, we're going to put dots right on these strips of paper. And there you have it. You have a piece of art in the style of Emily Kameanware. 
So I hope you guys had fun today. I will see you a little bit later. Um, if you do do this project, take pictures and send them to me. I love to see them. Um, until next time, bye.